Hey everybody, Michael McGinnis here, here at Home Headquarters. Hey, I want to talk about self-discovery, and if specifically a framework for self-discovery. So what do we do? How do we do it? Well, that's, these frameworks help to provide us structure for this effort of really discovering who I am. You want to be able to look up, it's actually shown on the screen behind me, the Johari window, J-O-H-A-R-I window. And basically what it provides is a structure. There's four quadrants in it. And the first quadrant is what's known to ourselves and known to others. That's what's open, right? People see that in ourselves. We see that in ourselves. It's open. It's obviously this is what we'll hear. We'll obtain feedback from with respect to others. Is it working, not working? But that's the easiest, right? That's what we want to do. Ultimately, we want to expand that quadrant to really understand more about ourselves. But that's cut by tackling the other three quadrants. One of the other quadrants is what's known to others, but unknown to ourselves, right? So that's the things of which other people see in us, and probably we get that all of the time, right? We'll see something in others that they don't see in themselves. That's where in self-discovery, we wanna utilize the art of receiving feedback, asking for feedback. You know, asking those close to us, the connections, those that have a trust, trusting connections, sometimes self-assessments are used or assessments are used to be able to, be able to get data back from others very often in an anonymous manner. What is it that they see in us with respect to different aspects of our life? Particularly at work, you know, it's how we about working with others, manage conflict, etc. But really also for our life. So that's where what we want to do is expand our consciousness into that unconscious, what others see and we don't, by asking them about it. The third quadrant is what's known to ourself, but it's unknown to others, right? So we act in certain ways. This is very often where we wear our facades. Facades are just the way in which we act, you know, where we think we need to act. It's not our true self, and others don't know that. Right, so they just see that behavior, and so very often there, as other pe we want other people to learn more about us. So for relationships, particularly in work environments related to team atmosphere, it's all about self-disclosure, modeling self-disclosure. Well, you know that's because this is a part of myself, or you know what, I do have a sensitivity to conflict, and I tend to avoid conflict, so I could really use your help, right? And again, that'll help others. Now to know that aspect of yourself. Then there's the fourth quadrant, which is unknown to self and unknown to others, right? So this is, we, we do things in life and we're uncertain or aware of what's causing it and others don't know that as well. That's where self-discovery comes in. That's the focus of where we delve into that, often with the help of a trained counselor or professional, a lot of journaling and other activities, reading of which we go through and begin to understand aspects of ourself that are deep into our subconscious. So for example, I mentioned in earlier videos, challenge I had early on with relationships with others, it was difficult, right? But others didn't know why, and I didn't know why, but it took therapy, counseling, to really come to understand you know, the past and some of the fears and other things that I developed on healthy beliefs that was really driving that uh, inability to be able to form, you know, great, caring, close connections. So that's the Jahari window. We'll delve into some of those different quadrant windows we go along. But in effect, our goal here is to expand our conscious awareness of self into those aspects of self that we are unconscious about. Some cases we get that from by asking others, by telling others, and then digging in, in that art of self-discovery and coming to understand our true self. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.